in the spirit when you're serving God, when you're doing what he tells you to do, you just do it and don't worry about what's going to happen afterwards. You just do what's right. Because God will take care of you. God has promised to do that. And it, and it stems from this lack of faith. We started off reading in Psalm 118. The reason why we started here is because the Bible tells us some very clear verses just that we don't have to fear anything because God is on our side. If the Lord be for us, if God be for us, who could be against us? And that's the attitude we need to maintain and have with us, especially in the midst of a battle, in the midst of a fight, because, yeah, the enemy is going to try to do things to make you be afraid. And oftentimes you don't know, well, what are they going to do? Well, I don't know. And so many Christians today are just so worried about, well, I don't know if the Sodomites come after me. I mean, I might be on the news or I might be here or this might happen to me or that might happen to me. You don't even know what's going to happen, yet you're so afraid that you just refuse to do what's right. You ref refuse to stand up with the man of God. You refuse to stand up for God's word and you're just crippled in fear. Well, look what the Bible says in Psalm 118, verse number six. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Hey, if you, if you are standing on this foundation, if you have the word of God, if you're preaching the word of God, you know who's going to be on your side? The Lord. Because these are his words. If you're out there just preaching the word of the Lord, guess who's on your side? The Lord's on my side. And if the Lord's on my side, I will not fear. How, how could you have... And think about this. Think about this from God's perspective. When you start to fear some other creation of God's, yep. instead of fearing the creator of what he can actually do, as opposed to just, oh, I'm worried about what that person's going to do. Well, they're wicked. Yeah, but God's almighty. <laughs> no matter how wicked that person is, God's almighty. And if he says to do something, we do it. And we don't even need to fear. Verse number seven, the Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore, shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Well, I wonder what his desire is. Think about that. Therefore, shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Do you think that he's like wishing them the best? We talk about his desire upon them that hate him. No. He's talking about being in a battle. He's talking about the Lord being on his side and these people that are fighting against God and have become his enemies that hate him because he's making a stand for the Lord. He said, you know what? God's going to make sure that my desire comes on them. He's not getting involved in a physical battle. But he's saying, you know what? God's going to take care of it. Verse number eight is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Look at verse 10. If you ever had a reason to be afraid of something, how about verse 10? All nations compassed me about. The whole world has surrounded me. They're all against me. Yea, they compassed me about. Or verse number 10. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. The whole world could come against me but I'm going to destroy them. In the name of the Lord will I destroy them. Verse 11, they've compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. That's his desire upon them that hate him. Destruction. Oh, that's so Christian of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Right. That is a Christian attitude to have on the people that hate God. 